What's up, everyone? Welcome to the New Moon Workshop. Um, this will be under 30 minutes, and this is the New Moon in Libra. So we are inviting in new relationships, partnerships, collaborations. We're really reviewing a lot of ourself and um, what we want from our relationships, how we want to approach the next chapter, um, what we want to invite in. We have a Mercury retrograde happening now in Libra also. So there's a lot of internal mental review, reflection, reassessment, um, reimagining, et cetera. So some of you could be feeling overwhelmed. Um, this new moon, I feel like has a little bit of like a conflicting energy because we have Mars and the moon together in Libra. So our emotions um, could trigger impulses or we could be feeling like we're really upset with how we act when we're upset or how we respond to our emotions coming up, how we escape, etc. So this is an opportunity for us to grab this moon's energy and incorporate it into establishing better routines, better behaviors, better cycles, et cetera, because this is going to establish like a six month cycle until the full moon in Libra, which will happen in six months from now. So a really good opportunity for us to establish better boundaries, better relationships, um, and not only relationships with other people, but also how we relate to things. So how you relate to coffee, for example, do you need to drink coffee three times a day, every day? Like maybe not, <laughs> uh, maybe now we want to review how we treat our body, how we treat our mind, et cetera. So I'm gonna pull some tarot cards. Um, we're going to talk about this new moon, of course, and some of the astrology that is influencing us. And then we're gonna do a short meditation and an energy clearing, and then we are done. So. Thank you all for coming. Um, this is pay what you can, of course. These are always donation-based. So uh, the link is below. Please um, donate what you can. And I appreciate all the donations, sending all the love and abundance back to you tenfold. Um, yeah, let's just pull some cards. Okay, what does the collective need to know? What does the collective need to know about this new moon in Libra? What does the collective need to know? about this new moon okay these ones pop out this is what we're going with bottom of the deck three of cups reversed four of cups and the four of swords i feel like we're really being asked like do you want to continue doing what you're doing do you want to continue socializing with these people or do you want to continue acting like that when you used to act like that with other people, but now you've outgrown them, you've leveled up, you've experienced new things and you wanna start this new chapter, but your behavior or your actions or your conversa conversations are still reflecting these old situations, these old people, these old places. So our mind is really changing. There's a lot of deep transformation happening. And as I said before, that Mercury retrograde in Libra, Whew, Libra is an air sign. So there's a lot of like mental ideas, um, how we communicate, what we communicate, how we think, how we feel about what we think. Like all of this is changing because with the three of cups reversed, like we don't want to be involved in the bullshit, especially with the four of cups there. Like we don't want to be involved in the bullshit, especially with that four of cups supporting that three of cups reversed. It's like, I don't want to be involved in the gossip. I don't care. Like I'm trying to level up and I'm working hard. So like for me to be continuing to be involved in these kinds of situations with these kinds of people or just thinking like that or behaving the same as I used to when I was with these people, it's just like, it's done. Like, oh, we're exhausted. So yeah, we've got a Knight of Wands here. We've got an Eight of Swords. So... I feel like there's temptation. I feel like a lot of us are maybe experiencing or over the next six months, we will be challenged with figuring out what you really want. Do you want to level up? Do you want to take new action? Do you want to establish a new cycle? And um, like, for example, if you're like, oh, you know, with these people, I just always went out and we always were drinking and we were always sort of eating whatever. And I didn't really like work out or like exercise or whatever. And now I'm like, 
I don't want to continue doing that. I want to level up. I want to, you know, work out uh, every day. I want to eat healthier. I want to feel better in my mind. Well, if you want to do all of these things, then like you can't do all of these things because they don't match, right? If that's how you were behaving before, well, now you feel differently about that kind of behavior and you want to drop it or those kinds of people or that kind of job or that kind of energy, whatever it is, we just feel this disconnect now. So it's like, we're in this strange experience feeling like, it's almost like, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't want to do that, but like starting something new is hard. And like, I get it because I'm trying and I'm struggling with this right now. Also, I made Libra rising. So I'm really feeling this. Um, if you have Libra in your chart, you will feel this strongly. If you are an air sign or a cardinal sign, you will feel this strongly. Also, we all will, of course, but we can just be in our minds right now with that eight of swords feeling scared. Um, Mars mixed with the moon. Mars can feel a little bit aggressive or angry or triggering or upset. And the moon is our deep emotion. So a lot of us can be feeling like maybe you're beating yourself up because you're feeling this type of way and you want to change your behavior. Or you want to change your action, but maybe there's a delay for whatever reason, because we're still trying to figure out how um, to drop these old things or how to establish a better routine. And I just feel like there's just this overwhelming energy of like, I just want it to be done. You know, like I want to be up there. I don't want to be trying to figure out how to get there. So it's like clarity, mental clarity, establishing your goals. What do you want? Put them down on paper. Um, having boundaries that match your goals. So if you want to level up your health, then you need to say no to cheese or whatever, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, if you want better people in your life, then you need to say no to the shitty people who continue to stress you out. It's like, no, we don't need that. We don't need these people. We don't need these behaviors. So just getting really clear on that. You just need to establish that clarity of mind, that clarity of um, goals and intentions, and then I mean, we need to slow down and think before we act. Think about how that action will make you feel. Like, okay, so my impulse is saying this, this is what I want to do, but how am I going to feel after? Like, can I find that pause, that four of swords, that four of swords energy? Can I just pause before I just dive into it? Can I pause and ask myself, do I really want to be doing that? Is it in my best interest? It's like, these are the kinds of um, internal conversations that I'm noticing lately. And um, some of my clients that I've been chatting with, of course, same thing. So this could be a big um, theme for a lot of you. If you feel different, of course, no problem, but we are all being asked to establish better um, balance, better connections, better relationship to things, better collaborations, duos, partnerships. It's because this is Libra energy. So it's um, it's like about democracy. We wanna make sure everyone feels equal. Everyone feels appreciated and respected. And if people can't match that, then they need to go. It's like bye bitch, you know what I mean? Like I can't do this anymore. Um, we have the new moon happening in the sign of Libra. We have the sun with the new moon. So you have the moon and the sun beside each other and Mars is also beside it. So the three of them are together. So this is very uh, exciting. This is very, um, it can be intimidating. <laughs> it can feel emotional. You could be feeling all the feels. It doesn't really matter. The point is all three of those planets are in Libra at 13 degrees. Um, if you even just look at the number 13, one and three equals four in numerology, 13, one, three, one plus three equals four. So four. So four is connected to foundations, structures, establishing new routines and finding safety with your body, finding safety with your goals, with your uh, people, with who's supporting you. Do you feel that they actually support you? If not, then like, why the fuck are you continuing to waste your time, energy, money with these kinds of people, right? So a lot of these questions coming up and at the same time, the Mercury 
or sorry, the planet Mercury is retrograding in Libra. So a lot of old reflection, possibly people or energies, themes from the past coming back for you to really pass the test sort of thing. Um, you've learned a lot. So now it's time to apply everything you've been learning, right? We have that Mars um, energy and it's very protective. So we're really trying to figure out how to protect our divine feminine, the moon, because the moon and Mars are beside each other right now in Libra. So Mars protection, drive, motivation, fight, anger, passion, excitement, and then the moon. It's like slow down, calm, uh, divine feminine energy. It's like receptivity, it's intuition. So how do you protect your intuition? How do you protect your emotions? How do you protect your safety? That's what we're being asked to do and to recognize what is not in balance. Is it people? Is it jobs? Is it boundaries? What needs to be adjusted and how to actually take action, establishing that now under this new moon in Libra? Because the new moon in Libra will invite in better balance for relationships, collaborations, health, body, etc. So that is kind of the overall energy here. Okay. Um, one of the challenges that we could be feeling over the next little bit, or that we could have been feeling up till now is also like, it's like we want to destroy things or make things worse before they get better, before they improve. So just um, be aware that that energy could be coming up for some of you. Um, okay. We are going to focus on the energy cleansing now, and then we're going to start the meditation. So we're really like halfway done. Good for you. <laughs> You're still here. Um, got some tarot that we've done. I'm gonna do one moon card. Surrender to the divine and a new start is coming. So surrender to the divine and a new start is coming. So it's like, we really just need to let go and trust that if you're feeling stuck, if you're feeling like things are on pause, if you're feeling like it's a time to wrap up and close out chapters before we're starting this new chapter, I would agree. I would also say that under this new moon in Libra, it's important to set these intentions, but do we need everything to happen today immediately? Like, no, it's going to take time. So that patience and trusting that the divine energy, your guides, God, the universe, whatever will support you, will help lead you to it. Yes, they will. Okay. I'm telling you, I promise you. And that new chapter is coming it's starting today. It's going to take time to unfold, but just trust the process. Okay. Um, I also just want to acknowledge that most of the people here are settlers on the land and that indigenous people were here long before us. So we have a responsibility and reconciliation with them. Um, also accessibility matters. Deaf people want to be included. So hire an interpreter, add captions, etc. Okay. Um, we're going to start the um, visual energy clearing now. So if you want to uh, get a little bit more comfortable, I invite you to do so now. Oof, I'm going to turn on some music for the meditation. Um, okay. So first thing I want you to do is just close your eyes. Um, I want you to visualize there's a green fire burning in front of you. And I'm going to use some distance energy symbols to help clear all of the negative energy that is around you. So while I'm doing that, I want you to envision that you are just combing. Imagine you have a gold comb. You're just combing out your energy fields and you're tossing all the negative energy into that green fire that's in front of you. So there's a green fire, it's burning, and you're just brushing out all of the negative energy and tossing it into that fire, okay? So as you continue with that visual, I'm going to start some music and I'm going to use distance energy symbols to help clear as well.
So now I want you to keep your eyes closed and I want you to visualize white light is pouring down from above you, like a shower, it's just raining down on top of you. And the intention with that is to fill up all of the positive energy in your aura, in your body, to help heal the body, to help calm the mind. So just visualize white light pouring down from above you now. I'm going to use different energy symbols. We're going to start this meditation by taking three deep breaths. So I want you to inhale, two, three, four, and hold. And release, two, three, four. We're going to do one more, just really relaxing the jaw and filling the belly. So inhale, two, three, four and hold and release two three four and one last time the biggest breath you can take inhale two three four and hold and releasing it all release two three four this new moon in Libra gives us a chance to invite better balance into our life, our work, our relationships. It allows us to connect with ourself in new ways while we balance out the divine masculine and feminine energies. So the first thing I want you to do is just observe what comes forward during this visualization. I want you to think about what healthy relationships look like. What do they feel like? Is there an example of a person in your life, whether it's a friend, a lover, a boss? I want you to visualize this healthy relationship And if you can, try to identify what makes it healthy. Is it the boundaries? Is it equal give and take? Is it just respect for each other? How does this connection make you feel? I want you to visualize this person or this connection and I want you to feel the emotions tied to it. These are the types of connections we want to invite in. If you can't think of a person, then just feel what it feels like to have a healthy relationship. To know you can depend on someone to know that you are heard, that you are supported, that you are loved and respected. I want you to feel that energy, feel that emotion, and we're going to invite more of that in as we inhale. So I ask you to inhale, two, three, four, and hold. And release two, three, four. 
Now I want you to think about finding better balance in health. Is it the food you eat? Is it how much water you drink? Is it your exercise routine? Or the boundaries you set for yourself? How much do you rest? How much do you sleep? How much do you allow your, yourself downtime? Or maybe you've been a little too lazy and you want to work more movement into your life. Maybe you want to cook more. What does that look like? I want you to visualize yourself doing these things. Feel that energy. Feel how good you feel because you're doing these things, because you're living in balance, because you have boundaries. Boundaries for yourself, as we learn to reparent ourselves, as we learn to set new rules, moving into this new chapter, boundaries for others, maybe not allowing so much access to you, to your space, allowing you to rest the mind and the body. What is one thing you could do to take a step towards better balance with your health, with your fitness, with your food. I want you to visualize that. I want you to feel that emotion, feel that energy. And we're going to invite more of this in as we inhale. So inhale, two, three, four, and hold. And release, two, three, and four. And the last thing I want you to do is think about your job, about your career, about what you want to be doing with your time, how you want to contribute. Maybe there's a project or something that you want to start. Maybe there's something you want to complete. Maybe we've outgrown our work and we need to make a big change. What's one thing that you can do to take a step in this direction? Is there a proposal that you need to send to somebody? Is there a proposal that you need to review for yourself? Is there a new idea sparking inside you? Is there a new position that you want to apply for? Or maybe you're comfortable right now with where you're at. How can you enjoy it a little bit more? How can you embrace it a little bit deeper? Is there a person or a project or a place that comes to mind when you think about inviting in healthier work relationships or finding better balance with your work to rest ratio? What do you need to do to feel more successful? And success doesn't always mean money. Success can mean more time off, just better working relationships. What's one thing that you can do to work towards this? I want you to see yourself doing it. Feel that emotion. Feel that energy, feel that accomplishment, that satisfaction. And we're going to invite more of that in as we inhale two, three, four, and hold. And we release two, three, and four. And as we come back into the space, I invite you to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Maybe stretch out your neck and open your eyes. Welcome back.
Okay. Okay, so now I want you to write down on a piece of paper, um, under this new moon in Libra, I invite in the following. And then you put them down. Okay, you can pause this video on my face. This is the pause game. Um, if you miss it, you can't go back. Okay, I'm really sorry. That was it. Bitch, you can't go back. <laughs> okay. That's it, y'all. I love you. Please um, subscribe because it supports my channel. Also, comment what you're inviting in. If you want more help, we have the Mercury Retrograde Workshop and Workbook and the Libra Season Workshop and Workbook. Both are ready for download. The links are below. This is Pay What You Can. I appreciate all of your donations and all of the love, and I send it back to you tenfold. I will see you in two weeks for the full moon. Uh, yeah, that's it. Ciao. Mm -hmm.